Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can apply if else condition in Angular specifically in the HTML part, right? Because see, if else condition can be applied in the TS file also and in the HTML file also. Here we will focus on the HTML file because uh, see, in TS file, this is very easy because if you know the basics of JS, you can easily apply the if else condition. But in case of HTML file, this is little bit different in Angular. So that we will learn. Or either you can say that if else condition or either you can say that control flow statement in Angular. Both are same thing. And here we will learn how we can hide, show and toggle HTML elements also, right? And these all three things are possible with the if else condition. You will learn lots of things there. You will get to know how we can uh, display divs UI on the button click and all, all right? So first of all, we will define some properties and we'll write some HTML part for if else condition. Then we will apply a basic if else condition. Then we'll see how we can hide and show some HTML element with the help of button click. Then we'll see how we can do toggle HTML elements with the help of button click. Then we'll see how we can update the button text also whenever we will uh, toggle the HTML elements. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview questions also, all right? Okay, so now let's move on the code and let me open first, uh, you can see that app.component.html and there I'm making a div. And inside this div, I will just add some style and that could be, let's say, background color can be green. Then let's provide some height, let's say 200 pixel, then width again 200 pixel. And if you go to the HTML UI part, you'll see we have a green box there. This is very simple, perfect. So now I want to hide this. It owns some specific condition and how we can hide it with the help of if else condition. First, we'll see how we can apply the if, then we'll see how we can apply the if and else both. Okay, so what we need to do for this, go to the app.component.ts file and let's define a property there. And let's say property name is display and by default, its, its value is false like this. Now, if I just provide that at the rate. So see, uh, maybe you will see that uh, what is that at the rate. So we call it directives. And now what is directive we'll learn in the upcoming parts. So till now you have seen two directives, one for if that we will just gonna learn right now. And second one, at the rate component, both are directives. And in uh, upcoming part, we will learn about this directive in very, very detail. Maybe we'll see how we can create the custom directives also. All right. Okay, so what do you need to do? First of all, you have to put at the rate, then if, and inside this, you can put some condition. Condition means if display. If display is true, then this HTML part should be visible, otherwise not. And now, is it true? No, this is actually false. So it should be hidden. Here you can see that, and this is hidden right now. So now again, let's make it true. And once you make it true, you can see that we are able to see this. So this is how you can just use if else condition uh, with the, uh, you can see that one property. So there are some other ways also to apply the condition. So let me just make one more condition there that will be more simpler. So for example, uh, let's say there you have one uh, value, uh, maybe well equal to 10. And you want to check here if well equal equal to 10, then it should be display, right? Let me hide the, okay, let me change its color to the gold. Now you'll see we have both uh, boxes are visible there, right? But because this is also 10. So if I just change this value or either this value, then it will not work, right? So if I check value is equal equal to 11, then this condition not will be true. And here you can see that only uh, last one is visible, the gold one is not visible. Either you can check it, uh, let's say if value is greater than five, then it should be visible. So is our value greater than five? Yes, definitely this is 10. So it should be visible. Here you, we go. And if you just put there, if value should be greater than 50. So is it greater than 50? No, because this is 10. Now this will be hidden, right? So this is the way that how we can uh, apply some uh, condition uh, with the greater than and less than symbol also, right? Okay, so let me put there five and now you can see that this is perfectly visible. So let me hide it, comment it so that we have more space here and we can learn more things. So now let's say I have a button there and on button click, I want to hide this. Then how I can do that? So let me make it hide and let's create one function there. 
hide div or something right or either you can say that hide only that should also work and put there this dot display is false right and how we can call this function on click obviously so let me provide there on click and there let me call this function height and if I just click over there uh, this is not getting height reason that we need to check because we have to use this click event properly I just put there JS event uh, that should will not work here so here you can see that this is the angular event and now if I just click over there you can see that this is hidden so similarly I want to create one more button here to show this like this then let's create a show function similar to the hide and its name should be show and it should be true and here we go hide show hide show great similarly I want to create one more button there and button name should be let's say toggle uh, toggle means same button will be hide and show this uh, you can see that uh, div right so let me make it this toggle this dot display not equal to uh, oh equal to let assign the value not this dot display that means if this is true then it will assign its uh, false and if this is false then it will assign true and now you can see that this is toggling on the single button perfect so next thing that we need to do we learned that how we can define uh, properties if else basic if else condition hide show toggle button okay so now the thing is I want to change okay um, this um, button also button name when I just click over there right so let me create one button there and uh, then let's say here I will check what should I put the name so if I will simply put there if uh, display right this is the property right if this display is true then I should show here hide else we can put there show now okay so did I missed something there yeah because I have to use double curly braces my bad yeah and 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 and, and. but why this is not working maybe due to the space and all yeah so if I just click over there here you can see that this is asking to hide this hide and if I just hide uh, this button is changed with the show so if I just click over there this will be show and now we have option to hide now we have option to show this is how the things actually work with this uh, okay so now uh, let's try to do one more thing so let's say you have two divs right uh, let me comment all of these things right now okay let's not comment there let's create the HR line to just uh, define a line there and let me create one two div actually not one first one is let's say let me add style color blue yeah and uh, width is let's say 100 pixel then height is let's say 100 pixel and it should be visible if everything is fine uh, let me refresh we made a mistake we have to put their background color now this is perfectly fine similarly I am creating one more div there and now its color is let's say red perfect so at a one time I want to show only one div not two and for that we can take example of if else okay so if I'll check there uh, and uh, okay so I have one more property there and property name is let's say show Right, this is a completely different okay show we already have there so what we can do there display div right that should I think work by default it will be true right display one div I can say that fine okay so here I'll check if display one div is true then it should visible like this else we have at the rate else condition and there 
we can just simply make there like this and let me format this one okay so now you will see uh, again did I missed something mm, yeah that's right so I have to put there at the rate okay so now we have only this one and if I just make it false then you will see that only red one is visible so only one thing is visible there so let me make it true only and let me define one button and putting there toggle diffs right like this on this button I will change the property so let me define a click event and let me put there toggle diffs there should be double D yeah, and there let's define this function put there this dot display one div equal to not of this uh, dot display one div that means it will make the opposite on the button click whatever is the condition we have so if we have this value is true then it will make it false and if this is false then it will make it true now if I just click over there this is not working let me see why this is not working because we have to use the braces there now you can see that only one button uh, one div uh, is visible at the time all right so this is how we can do hide show toggle and we can change button name and how we can toggle the two divs if you still have any query question you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this part this is my paytm and gpay number for donation and please like subscribe and comment on my channel thank you guys